Today we're going to be installing the DZ123Z0. It fits AZLZ, GP30, and others. The first step is to remove the shell. To do this, simply take hold of the fuel tank and pull up on the shell. The next step is to remove the light board. To do this, simply slide it back so it's free of the clips located here and here. Slide it back and pull up. The next step is to make sure that the pickup contacts are in proper orientation. These need to be bent to an approximately 90 degree angle to the board, like so. Next, we're going to install the decoder. First, you need to make sure the insulating tape located here and here is still in place so that the motor pickups don't make contact with the frame. Next, you will take the decoder, slip it in place, and simply slide it forward into position. You need to make sure that the motor contacts here are making contact with the motor contacts on the motor. The final step is to reinstall the locomotive shell. To do this, simply slide the shell back down over until it snaps into place. The final step is to place the locomotive on the track and select the default address, loco 03 loco. Make sure that the motor runs and the forward and reverse headlights are working. If the motor lights don't work, you need to remove the shell and adjust the decoder to make sure it's making proper pickup. And this concludes the installation video for the DZ123Z0 that fits AZL, ZGP-30, and others.